Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Sandra Stitches. Today we are going to be learning how to work this beautiful, gorgeous, super simple stitch called the linen stitch and or maybe you know it as the moss stitch. It's just the repeat of a single crochet in a chain so it's very very simple. Here it's worked in the round but you can work it in rows as well. So, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using my 6mm hook and some scrap yarn. I have a weight 4 yarn. We will start with a slip knot. And this particular stitch calls for even number of stitches, so multiples of even numbers. So you have to decide depends on your project how many chains you need so we'll start with one two three four five six seven eight nine oops my yarn is tangled ten i'll make twelve 11 and 12. So I have 12 chains in my chaining starting chain and now I will start with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we start with an even number and then we will have an odd number of stitches. Single crochet in the second stitch chain from the hook. This is my first stitch. The chain that we skipped, the first chain, does not count as a stitch. So this is my first stitch. Now I chain one, I skip one, and I single crochet in the next stitch, or the next chain, because this is my first row. Again, I chain one, I skip one and then I single crochet in my next stitch or chain. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in my next stitch and all the way across your, the length of your chain, of your project. This is for the first row, chain one, skip one, and in the last stitch, last chain, I will work my single crochet. All right, so this is our first row. Now for the second row, and this is going to be the repeat row, we chain two. Now this chain two, the first chain will be count as my first single crochet and the second chain will count as my uh, chain space. So I turn my work, I have my two chains, I skip the first single crochet because I already kind of worked one with my first chain here. I chain one here, the second chain, and then I work my single crochet in the chain space. single crochet in the chain space and that's it I chain one skip one stitch this is my single crochet I skip it and I work my next single crochet in the chain one space from the previous row and this is the repeat you go on and on across chain one single crochet in the chain one space from the previous row chain one single crochet in the chain one space and that's it. Chain one, single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, when you get to the end of your row, so remember you have your last single crochet here, so you chain one and you single crochet in your last stitch. And that's it. Let me repeat this. I, will, I like to make my single crochet with these two loops so it looks more straight. 
All right, so this is row number two. Row number three is a repeat of the row number two. So we make one more row, we chain two, turn our work, and we start by skipping the first single crochet and working in the first chain one space, my first single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the chain one space. As I said, the first two chains, one is the chain space and one is the first single crochet. Counts as the first single crochet. I think it's the only time and the only stitch I know that the chain one counts as a single crochet. Because we usually say that the chain one, the turning chain one does not count as a stitch, but here it does. So chain one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, and skip the last, this uh, single crochet, and single crochet in the last, on top of the last chain one space. And this is it. Now you continue row, as many rows as you want for your project, as long as you want it, just remember to start with an even number of chains and then for the projects you will have an odd number. So we get this pattern. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in our next tutorial. Bye!